This question seems to come up all of the time, so I figured I'd answer it with a poem of mine. We've been doing insert whatever here for millennium now. Uh, yeah, back in 1066 they were artificially inseminating cows or genetically modifying the growth rate and size of their sows. Even if that had any tangibility, you can't genuinely believe that. We did something for X amount of time, therefore we can never adapt. If somehow that is the case, and you're not accepting of change, allow me to list some of the things that luckily no longer remain. We no longer drown witches, treat with leeches, or live inside caves. We no longer use the rack, the guillotine, or accept people being slaves. The names of countries and the size of their borders constantly change. Even art, scripture, sculptures, architecture, and design alike have swiftly all shifted and moulded to fit the most recent hopes. We don't even have to go back all that far into the past to find serious advances that are improvements on the last. Just look at something as simple as how you access stuff online. No more dial-up, no more waiting for cheaper prices after a set time. This wasn't all that long ago, and yet you wouldn't want to go back. So why cite thousands of years ago as some precedent for us now to act? If your child misbehaved and was caned, would you accept that? After all, that's how it was done to kids for all those decades before, and thus surely justification for how we should act forevermore? Do you yet see the problem with the excuses you make? That you're repeating an error until it becomes a mistake? Just because something worked doesn't by default make it right. It's about acknowledging the problem and looking at it in a different light. With attitudes like yours, people would have never took flight. Happy instead to stay on foot, not even tram bike nor cart, because that had always worked for us right from the very start. It's funny how these people who leave this comment to bemoan never use smoke signals or drums, but instead they're smartphones. I won't joke if you don't excuse, because for real I want us all to unite, and instead of relying on methods that maximise the ending of life, we go back to the drawing boards and give this humanity thing another try, work together to seek solutions in a future that suit and benefit everyone, instead of looking backwards constantly. Because that's what we've always done.